your soldiers demand this from you. And if I were you, I would demand it from every one of my subordinates. Next chart. Once you have your leader development program, then I think it's important to really look at the tactical tasks and how to become tactical experts. Next chart. Major observations from the National Training Center. This is from where I came. These are things that majors do not do well. Okay. Traditionally, trends. They focus all their efforts on the current ops, which frankly could be designated or delegated to the battle captain or battle NCO, who's often underutilized. And then the major is focused on that, and they're not focused on what's next. And it's really, really hard to extract yourself from current ops. It is close to impossible, but you can do it. Because all you have to do is, I'm the major, I'm in charge of the command post, I'm going to do this. I trust you, let me know if this happens and then focus on what's next. We don't do it very well. You gotta manage. You will be the smartest person in the entire, on the entire staff. You've been the one, maybe you've been the maintenance officer, maybe you've been the four, you've been in the S3 shop. You can run circles around them. But the point is, is what is your job? What are you for? What do you do? And if you're doing something that someone else can do, the organization suffers. So manage that process. You know, we do it very well at the platoon and squad level. It's pretty easy. The platoon sergeant says, look, I want these seven things done. Um, here's the chart. There's the seven things. First squad, second squad, third squad. Report back to me when it's done. They check them off. First squad's complete. Second squad's complete. Third squad's complete. And then we're done with their tasks. And somehow when we become majors or lieutenant colonels on a staff, we forget all that, and we don't ever come up with a list and then have timelines associated with it. It's crazy. And then it's time to brief the boss, and everybody is surprised that it's not ready. So don't be that guy or gal. Okay, synchronization of warfighting functions. Really, really hard. So when you see... Uh, you know, China or Russia, they're practicing large-scale combat operations. And, and they're made out to be 10 feet tall in the media. They're not 10 feet tall. Okay? They're not 2 feet tall either. But they're not 10 feet tall. They can be beaten. Because this is what we do best. Better, uh, us and our allies, better than anyone else on Earth synchronized warfighting functions. And it's every one of the CTC trend books going back to 1980 has this is a, an improve. It's like the Kobayashi Maru. It's the unsolvable problem because you can always synchronize more. You can always make it better. It, it just continues on and on and on and on. And then they, someone can always pick you apart. But our ability to identify Synchronize war fighting functions to destroy that and then continue to take ground is unmatched. Systems and processes. Let me, let me just uh, state the obvious. The commander doesn't want to do this. The commander wants nothing to do with organizing systems and processes. He or she did that as a major. Wants you to do it. So how are you going to do it and what is important? Because you can start counting paper clips, but it's not going to be helpful. So what's important? What are the processes that you need in place for your organization to function? And then draw the line. We're going to do these seven, eight processes well, and everything else we're going to take risks. Boss, you good with that? Yes, go. You know this, and it's so easy to say. Logistics, sustainment. It's so important. Look, I'm a fat tanker from Kentucky. If I don't have coffee and donuts, I'm upset, okay? It's hard to get coffee and donuts forward. But what I challenge you to do, because oftentimes donuts aren't available, is 
figure out how the scout platoon in a battalion has a sensitive item that breaks, and that sensitive item has to travel from the front line of the scout platoon all the way back to the BSB, get fixed, and then come back. Figure that out, and you can do anything. That's chain of custody, that's parts, that's ordering, that's everything. That's the hardest problem. You know, tank engine is just bigger, right? So figure that out. Figure out how you're going to do maintenance in the field. It's really hard. But it's doable. We've solved this problem. Right? This isn't a problem that needs to be solved. It need, this is a problem that we just need to execute on to fix. Manage transitions. As a field grade officer, what I'd encourage you to do is plan for success, plan for failure. What's the worst thing in the world that can happen? What's the best thing in the world that can happen? And you have to ask that question. Because everyone else is like this. Head down, focused. SOPs, you got that. This is, again, this is hard. Mission command, command and control. I don't know if they still do. I'll have to talk to Mike Simmering. But we used to turn off the satellites in the JCRs for every unit for 72 hours at the National Training Center. Anticipation of getting jammed. Mission command improved. How scary is that? Mission command improved because we're so focused on moving ones and zeros around that we forget the essence of mission command. We've given everyone a Swiss Army knife of information called D-SIGs or APHATEDs or whatever it is they can do so many things, but commanders and majors need to look that operator in the eye and say, I only want you to do three things with this box. And that's how we're going to manage information in this organization. This is the important stuff that we're going to manage. And then if you're the three, where are you on the battlefield? If you're the XO, where are you on the battlefield? Where's the commander? And if you cannot see the pointy edge of the spear, you're in the wrong position if you're in a commander. If you can't see the pointy end of the spear and you're in S3, you're probably in the wrong position on the battlefield. And if you can even see the spear and you're the XO, you're probably in the wrong position on the battlefield, okay? So find where you belong and then manage information at that level. Time management, you know this. It's hard, so help your staffs by limiting what you're asking them to do. This is what's important. That's how you manage time. And then war game. Nobody likes to war game. Nobody. It is, if you like to war game, you and I can't be friends. But it is necessary, right? It is a necessary evil that we have to go through.